डॉक्टर इलामन सर शाल यू स्टार्ट द प्रोग्राम यस सर गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑल प्रेजेंट हियर आई एम डॉक्टर एसवी इलंगोवन एचओडी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द 6th डे ऑफ फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम ऑन इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर के आर आनंद एचओडी एड इज for giving the welcome address thank you thanks sir good evening to one and all and all uh, present here it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to this prestigious faculty development program on in indian knowledge system organized by the iqc department of nanda assistance college autonomous erod today the session promised to provide us with a deep insight into one of the most cherished aspect of our ancient heritage i extend a warm and special welcome to our esteemed chief guest dr kupusami sir a former principal and our guru of nanda assistance college erod sir we are honored by our presence today and we look forward to enrich the session on the theme of asim which holds give great relevance in our lives and society i would also like to take this opportunity to express our heart heartfelt gratitude to our chairman sir and our secretary sir of nanda institutions who, whose visionary leadership continues to inspire and ele elevate our institution to a greater height a very warm welcome to our respected principal Dr S Manogran sir and our administrative officer Dr Srinivasan sir both of them gave a lot of guidance and support that have been pivotal in the organization for this marvelous program thank you sir for our for your constant encourage i extend my heartfelt welcome to Dr Abdul K associate professor and head of pg and research department of biotech who has served as a convener for today's event your dedication and hard work have been invaluable in making this program a reality my warm welcome regarding to all goes to the dr ilongo ilongo sir sp assistant professor and head of the department of chemistry for his contribution towards the successful organization of this event last but not the least i extend a warm welcome to all the heads and our controller of examination and the faculty member and participant your presence and active act participants are what makes this program meaningful let us together explore the depth of the of our indian knowledge system and leave today with a new perspective and ideas thank you and welcome once again all thank you thank you sir now i welcome our beloved principal dr s manogaran sir for giving the felicitation good evening to all i am very happy today to have a the very eminent person as a chief guest resource persons of our today safdp dr r kupusami sir former principal of our nanda arts and science college respected head of the departments coordinators of iqsc controller of examination faculty members the staff members from various institutions who joined in this today's fdp good evening to once again good evening to one and all present today's fdp session today's the topic is very interesting i hope so akimsa that is a favorite topic for our resource person he is always focusing on uh, akimsa talking about gandhi ji more thing about the, he gave lots of lectures about gandhi ji and akimsa Uh, not only in india even in abroad he visited many countries uh, before three months back he went to lot of uh, countries places then he gave a number of speech about this ahimsa and gandhi uh, ji uh, the quotes of gandhi ji everything he gave in many places so today we are all lucky person to have a such eminent person as a chief guest and resource person uh on this fdp about indian knowledge system 
Dagim Sai is speaking more about today's Indian knowledge system. It is most important topic. We have to know about the Dagim Sa. Uh, we don't want to make disturbance to anybody. We have to well-being of living without taking any weapons to harm anybody. Like this, Dagim Sa is the most important quote which is going to be delivered by our resource person today. Uh, I hope this session will be more more informative for all of us, uh, which will be give lot of information for our future endeavors. Once again, I would like to thank the IQAC department for organizing this kind of eminent FTP program for the past five days. This is the sixth day. We are going to finish today's program with this eminent person speech. Have a nice day. Enjoy the session. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your kind felicitation. Uh, now I request our chief guest, Dr. R. Kupusami, sir, former principal of Nanda Arts and Science College, autonomous, uh, for presenting the topic on Agimsa for FDB on Indian Knowledge System. Thank you, sir. I will, now I welcome our chief guest for his presentation. Thank you, sir. Sir? Sir, your voice is not audible. How are you? Mute print, sir. Unmute print, sir. Sir, unmute. Uh, sir, good sir. Hello? Sir, sir, phone money, sir. Mute on the other Okay, okay sir. Okay, sir.
Dear participants, please wait for few minutes. Our chief guest will join you soon. Thank you. Hello, could you hear me now? Yeah, it is audible, sir. Uh, sir, uh, I'm okay, audible, okay. sir. Okay. Um, shall I start now? Yeah, go ahead, sir. Yes, sir, please. Sir. Uh, I must be thankful to the chairman, uh, secretaries. Uh, uh, Pradeep, Sudha, Principal, uh, Administrative Officer, Head of the Department, Dr. Abdul, and the Organizer, Ilangovan, and all my beloved professors, uh, Ilkuding, Dr. Parul Sami from English Department and all, 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 all the uh, members uh, from the Nanda Arts and Science College. You see, I'm really thankful to you all people because you gave me a chance to talk with you about the interesting and informative subject at himself, which I love. I have tried my level best to follow it. My dear friends, we used to give the meaning for Ahimsa not doing harm to anybody. This is the general information about Ahimsa. The negative idea of Ahimsa is it's a tool of a coward, but it's not like this. You see? Is that if you will go in depth, the meaning of Ahimsa, not only doing harm to others, but also, we have to do good things who did harm to us. Okay? So that is the meaning, inner meaning of Ahimsa. Even in depth. Supposing somebody has done wrong to us or harm to us, we have to go, suppose we have to go and Search what are all the problems with them. If they are encountering, encountering uh, some problem, we have to probe into it and we have to solve the problem for the people who did harm to us. So this, that, that is the meaning. In peripherally, if you will think, 
that it is the it's uh, uh, not doing harm to anybody is akimsa no no not like this okay and to see if somebody will come and attack us okay with any instrument any with any instrument knife or gun or anything anything the the people who are following agimsa always smile and ready to get the punishment which they are going to give okay if we are ready smilingly if they, we will look upon them they will be there and they won't come near so to follow agimsa more courage is required than the people who gives be i mean eye for eye okay so violence for violence violence for violence is always because of fear it is coming he will do something and he may wait i mean he may he may kill us like this because of this fear we used to think we have to attack him before he attack us but the people who follows agimsa never never attack the people who come who comes and attack us so that is the deepest meaning of ahimsa and it is not a instrument of cover it's a if you want to follow this ahimsa you must have a more more courage than the people who use gun or knife or uh, sword or whatever the thing may be okay so that is the principal thing or that is the important thing you must understand first next regarding the history of akimsa you see mahatma gandhi used to say that akimsa is not a new thing which i have discovered it's a sold as hill is a sold as mountain okay is a sold as civilization born initially man used to follow the violence violence in the sense for food gathering they used to kill the animals and then and there they used to kill the people okay that is for bad it stage the civilization evolved agimsa born and that agimsa was a sold as mountain mahatma gandhi used to say okay now in hinduism agimsa is the base agimsa is the base for everything okay akimsa you see in pranas in pranas and you can see quite a lot of information about akimsa you may think that bara i mean uh, mahabharata and ramayana they are always fighting with each other so it's a violent story we used to think but then here you we have to see when ravana lost everything and he was standing without any arms and ammunition okay rama told him you go today and come back with arms and ammunition tomorrow we will fight so agimsa has been taught in a different way to ravana like in the in mahabharata you can see dharma yudhishthira was the virtue of akimsa jeffrey bear you you see he was a uh, he was a embodiment of akimsa 
when they have lost everything with the in uh, because of the, their uh, activities uh, because of that play they have lost everything the nation the uh, what is called their house and everything and they have started to move towards the jungle at that time yudhishthira was uh, thirsty he asked nagula uh, sorry nasaga deva to go and get fetch a water he went there and he saw a pond of water a pool of water and he tried to drink because of uh, thirsty the khemi okay who has the pond as a question if it is possible for you to answer my question you can drink the water but saga deva told water air is common for all why should i answer your question why should i answer your question i'm going to drink if you will drink you will die no i will drink he drank the water and he died the same way nagula came arjuna came bhima came and everybody went to the pool said the same thing to the hermit and drank the water and they have died at last yudhishthira dharma came there and saw all his brother that died i asked the hermit sir we have lost everything we have lost everything because of thirsty we came here to fetch the water but it is but you have uh, did my brothers were in a position i mean they have already died what we did for you you this talk i asked your brothers tell something i mean i asked some question if it is possible for you to answer you can drink i told them they said no water and air is common for all no need for me to give no need for me to uh, answer your question that is why they drank the water and they died so dharma yudhishthira asked you please ask the question he did not act like his brothers he politely asked the uh, hermit ask the question i will try to answer okay he asked which is the greatest thing in the world what is the real beauty what is the uh, what is what is oh, quite a lot of question has been asked okay quite a lot of question has been asked he answered all the question and lastly the hermit asked the man or the people in the world used to think okay what what they will think wrongly yudhishthira told if at the time of our birth at the time of our birth itself we don't know when we are going to die the death is set uh, the death is certain okay it would come on day but what the people thinking what the people are thinking that they are thinking to live forever in the world like this they are thinking and earning money for them they are not earn only money, earning money for them their son and daughter not only earning the money for their son and daughter granddaughter and grand granddaughter like this they are minting money go on minting money without knowing that they are going to die okay so the simple mantra answer has been set by yudhishthira 
in a polite manner make the people to understand that they can live for them they can live for their son or daughter they can live at least for their granddaughter or granddaughter after that we don't know where the money will go and we are not living for that we are all we are all going on earning the money and at last it's not we are not in a position to you i mean enjoy the money which we have earned and they die okay so this truth has been politely told by yudhistra even the hermit or i mean the hermit uh, satisfied with this and yudhistra asked please help me to get back my brothers because of his answer politely in a, without any violence okay in a method of akimsa when he asked lost a rich i mean the last thing what he that hamid helped him to get back their uh, that their uh, uh, brothers okay so what i am telling here is this if you will go on using violence or against uh, the violence against the violence there will not be a solution if being dharma politely answered his question and he accepted that question answer and he held against him even though it is like a story the day to day life day to day life what people are thinking they are thinking that they are going to live eternally in this world and doing all kind of all kind of uh, what is that um, irrelevant things in this world okay and they are all doing harm okay but if they will think that we are going to die after we don't know when we are going to die and all the money and everything will go out of the death and who will have this money if we will think of i okay it, it uh, we will not do harm to anybody we will follow 100% non violent way or akimsa in our life so this is the philosophy which has been told in the hinduism next if you will come to christianity i am mean, sorry even before that in india okay traditionally the sacrifice animal sacrifice even human sacrifice has taken place in the hindu hindu temples after seeing these both the hindus that is mahavira and gautama buddha their parent religion was hinduism after seeing these i mean uh, uh, the sacrifice of the animals to the god they thought that it is not good and god never asked the animal sacrifice that is why they have developed their own path that is called buddhism and jainism buddhism and jainism you can see the akimsa to the core they have followed akimsa to the core you see buddha has undergone quite a lot of horrors quite a lot of tortures but smilingly he accept that uh, that uh, horrors and the violence not violence which has been done by others smilingly accepted this and he did good for the people who did the same kind of violence to them i mean the violence to that to him okay and the mahavira went one over oh, oh, you you can see mahavira went uh, more than that 
in jainism even in night they won't eat because some insects we can eat unknowingly that is in the dark okay so they never eat in the night and they used to take the uh, peacock feather and to clear the ground and they will walk even for insects like ant we should not do harm what an wonderful philosophy of akimsa they have undertaken or they have followed and now they are following okay the hermits in the uh, jainism they used to follow this this same thing even today okay and christianity you can see if you slap in one of your cheek you have to show the other cheek to the person who slap you see what a wonderful message a simple message message related to akimsa okay so his sermon on the mount okay birds animals they never never sow and harvest and they will never store it for the future but the birds and the animals and the insect never die because of hunger the only thing people we like human being okay we are gathering 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 more and more and more and money more money and we are making the poor to make i mean to become poorer and poorer if all the people decide or all the people decided enough is enough then there will not be a question of suffering in the world mahatma gandhi used to say that if i have more money than my need than my need i am a thief in in one sense even though i am speaking akimsa i am a thief because i have more money than i require okay but i am not aspiring for anybody's money or i don't want to accumulate more and more money the money which i have i used to spend for my life my family life and everything and even if i think i can earn more but i am not i aspiring for that i am contented to life what mahatma gandhi is telling simple life reducing the requirement you see you can see two things in life number one is need number two is wants need and wants always make the violence always the instrumental for violence you see wants we don't have the limit for wants if it is possible for us to limit the wants that is need only for my need i have i can earn i can have it it will not harm to anybody okay so this is the uh akimsa inherent in it regarding the day to day life or oh, let me come to the historical information about the akimsa which has been followed by gandhi ji and after gandhi ji see quite a lot of non violent movement or satyagraha or akimsa 
followed in a protest and everywhere that is non violent movement we can see throughout the world even before gandhi ji so when hitler occupied the poland he used to say in the name of peace i am occupying poland you see but the people did not like the occupation of the hitler's army after occupying poland hitler's army the our generals asked the people to accommodate the soldiers of hitler in their home one professor like us okay instigated non violently all the peoples of all the peoples of the world throughout the world all the peoples of the i mean all the peoples of the poland don't don't respect them but according to akimsa we have to respect but here he instigated they used to give food and everything but they never treat them like their uh, members in the family so it gave quite a lot of stress to them and the professor who preached non violent way has been put into the concentration camp and in this camp He, he they gave only one bread every day and he stopped like anything and because of this non violent movement it's not possible for the army of hitler to be there in poland for long time so that was that was the, the quite lot of interesting information you can see before gandhi ji the non violent movement okay so god during the time of gandhi ji when he was he was in south africa he experimented the philosophy of akimsa a non violence okay so he preached akimsa to the people of south africa the satyagraha has been taught by mahatma ji to the people of people of india in south africa because of this the south african government impressed him sorry imprisoned him imprisoned him at the time the jailer smith okay was there he was very arrogant he was very arrogant he removed all the dress except this drawer of gandhi ji and he kicked his uh, in his shoe with his shoe mahatma gandhi ji laid out on the floor because of his kick and he you see pressed his uh, pressed his uh, breast you see this breast with his shoe okay gandhi ji is it was very very pain to them then smilingly he accepted the punishment after seeing his smile even though he was trying to punish him he could not do further and he went back to his chamber later on that person the jailer used to visit him initially he was tough he did quite a lot of horror to mahatma ji but smilingly he accepted all the punishment and horror when he was in the jail later on they too became friends okay you see it's possible for the 
people who practice akimsa can change their efforts as friends okay this is the activity and this is the attitude of mahatma gandhi ji okay it's possible for him to match him as a friend at the time of his release smith the jailer came to mahatma gandhi ji i'm going to tell you two things one is good for you the another one is bad for me good for you is you are going to be released to tomorrow bad for me is i'm going to lose a very good friend see a man okay with his shoe okay kicked him become a friend and he felt that he is going to lose a good friend in between akimsa was there because of a non violent attitude and policy of akimsa is possible for him to make the jailer as the prey okay at the time of uh, coming out from the jail okay as you know he presented two i mean a pair of chapels to him smith where the chapels okay where the chapels it's exactly correct to his food suits his food how it is possible for you to measure the length of my feet mahatma gandhi told when i was entering into the jail you kicked me in the breast i have i mean i have taken the uh, you know that uh, that uh, that one size that size and i have made a chapel for you told me the jailer trembled he wept and he took the two chapel put it on the kid up i mean on the uh, above the chair which he used to sit see how the non violence or akimsa changed the people okay so in india you can see uh, as you have already studied i don't want to explain uh, more and more non violent incidents i would like to tell you when at the time of salt satyagraha okay the soldiers the soldiers used to come and feed the people who indulged in salt satyagraha at the time yeah dyahi the person who participated in the salt satyagraha he tried to capture the lucky of a policeman jawagra nehru saw that don't don't do that let him to be let him be just be don't do that so that is akimsa that is satyagraha as you all know tirupur kumaran you see until he fall down even after uh, he even uh, even it is not possible for him to hold the flag but he was holding okay because of it he got quite lot of beating and injuries before him you see i want to tell you one thing before him one person i have forgotten the name of that person maybe kandasami he was holding that flag at the time the police officers first they have broken the skull and they have broken the legs and hands everywhere 
and they have thrown him into the what is called the uh, the side of a, a side of the road some volunteers took him and admitted in the hospital he has 42 fractures you see 42 fractures in that body see even when they were beating and breaking their legs or breaking their head they used to say Mahatma Gandhi ki je Mahatma Gandhi ki je Bande Madaram Bande Madaram this is the word which has been uttered even at the time even do yeah, 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 yeah. you see he was uh, he was living as a mad man until his death after leaving the flag Tripur Kumaran took that flag and he stand straight forth the same thing had happened in the hospital okay he died because of this beating you see what kind of sacrifice these people did for the freedom of our India if we will think what we will do if we will think okay we will not think about anything okay that is the sacrifice because of their sacrifice we got the freedom and it is the duty of the professors and teachers to inculcate the idea and the struggle which has been done by our forefathers to get freedom if they will get into their heart they will not do harm to anybody 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 okay so this is the legacy of our freedom here in india okay so next one i want to tell you about the other freedom movements or non-violent movements outside india you see in the united states of america state of georgia there was a rule that first come first must sit in the bus that is the bus is segregated into two in one place in the in the front the white people can see even if it is vacant the black people should not see okay they have to sit in the back if the seats of the white people fill they will go back and the black people should stand up and give the seat to them that was the rule okay at the time martin luther king the black gandhi gandhi was there in the in, in georgia as a priest he loved Gandhiji and his non-violent philosophy to the core. So at that time, an incident took place. You might have heard about it. Rosa Park, a middle-aged lady, a tailor assistant, who did, who was standing and doing the work from the morning till the evening, was very tired and he she was sitting in the law i mean in the side of her and the loss on the on the side of the bus three seats were there in the side of the law the side seat okay he she was sitting the other two blocks were also sitting near her in the three seat the town i mean the bus started from the downtown and it has been reached to empire theater in the empire theater three white people get into the bus they came near 
the Rosa Park and the other two blacks who they were sitting. The two people get up and gain the seat. But Rosa Park somehow she refused to give the seat. Because of diet, tired or something, she don't want to give the seat. I don't want to. I don't want to stand like this, she told. The bus driver scolded like anything. He drove the car to the police station and fingerprint and they have been, she has been taken to the court. In the court, the judge told you have to pay two dollars as a fine. She told, no, I'm not ready to pay the fine. I'm ready to go to the jail. Okay. What the judge said, definitely it will create a problem. So, I'm ready to pay your fine. You go away. She refused. No. No. I don't accept it. I'm ready to go to the jail. She was in prison. The news spread like anything. It has gone to Martin Luther King. They rang the bell of a church. The people gathered there. He told, you see, our member of this church has been imprisoned because of disobeying the rule of Georgia. We will boycott the bus. Bus boycott. It's called bus boycott. Montgomery bus boycott. We will boycott the bus for only one day. Okay? That by the bus boycott. 100% boycott took place. After seeing this, Martin Luther King next day gathered the meeting and told him, if at all, the first come first rule will be, until the first come first rule are removed, we will not travel into the bus which has been driven by the white people. You see, all the black people walk, walk, and do their work, job. Nobody has entered into the bus at all. At the time, yeah, yeah, the, the, the white people throw a bomb upon the Martin Luther King house. Okay? At the time, the black people. We have to take revenge. We have to take revenge. We have to throw bomb upon the white people who are living and on the bus also, they told. Martin Luther King told, eye for eye, Mahatma, like Mahatma Gandhi, the same thing told, eye for eye will make a whole ball blind. We should not do it. We have to adhere the philosophy of Akimsa and non-violence. We will boycott until the bus, until the government enact the law to break the first come first uh, incident. You see? The boycott went even after one year, one year. Okay? Only 363 days, after 63 days, the Montgomery government, Georgia government, came and accepted and enacted the law, the bus segregation will put an end. This is the first incident of Martin Luther King, Akimsa which has been followed by Gandhiji and he, he never comes to India or Mahatma Gandhiji never has gone to 
United States. But these people, okay, here to one another, and he strictly followed Ahimsa, and it is possible for him to get the freedom or the right for the blacks in Georgia. You see, our Tolstoy, okay, Tolstoy was a strong follower of Christianity. Strong follower of Christianity. He used to preach the principles of Akimsa. He followed the principles of Akimsa. He lived a life of Jesus Christ who lived a simple life. Okay? Even though he never, never go to the church. One day, his friend, one day, his friend, a man, a, a priest, Christian priest in the church, asked him, you are preaching, teaching, writing, okay? Everything is Christianity. Akimsa, the philosopher of Jesus Christ. But why you are not coming to the church? He asked, he told, Sir, I am not coming. I have once entered into the church. I have seen the Jesus Christ statue there. But it is not the exact Jesus Christ who preached Christianity. He wore a dirty shirt, dirty dodi. He used to hold the lamp on his lap. Okay? It has quite a lot of dirt. But you, the Jesus Christ who is in the church, is void beautiful okay and i uh, is beautiful that's correct it's white no no blemish on the statue no dirt on the statue so my jesus christ which i'm following in my heart in my philosophy in my writing is different jesus who is there in your church? That's why I am not coming. So, can you say one person who is doing the same thing or living like Jesus Christ? Tolstoy told that man, You see, my dear friend, one man in India. One man in India, okay? He is living like a Jesus Christ. He is living like a Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad. And he is preaching and doing wonderful thing. He is following non-violent movement and non-violent Thing, and Akimsa is following Akimsa and doing wonderful thing. He is the replica of Jesus Christ, he told to him. See? My dear friends, I want to tell you one thing. When Muhammad was there in the mosque, a Christian friend came to him. They were talking. Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad and the Christian father were talking, talking, talking. After seeing that time, the priest told, I have to go and pray. I have to go and pray in the church. Do you know what Prophet Muhammad said? No. For praying, you will not go to the church. Inside the mosque, you can go and pray. 
after seeing this incident all the people in and around him were angry the priest has left the place and after he left the place the people asked the muhammad prophet muhammad why you are allowing why you are allowing the christian to pray into the mosque prophet muhammad told no his philosophy and our philosophy are same even though the god he is play he is praying allah we are praying jesus christ that is different but the philosophy of ahimsa is same which we are following it. okay so like this uh, you see these are all the wonderful thing which have happened you see i want to tell you one information um about the incident which took place in our place in south india i mean in tamil nadu one harmony chakravarti okay one harmony chakravarti was thurayu muslim was living here he used to uh, sing a song he used to sing a song patriotic song in all places in the drama when he will come down he used to arrest and put imprisonment in the jail after coming from the jail after the release they used to he used to sing a guy the patriotic song okay he used to imprison like this was going on the british administrators fed up with him fed up he is always doing like this so yeah cast has been false cast has been put forward by him, by the british officers and he has been given a death penalty okay when he was uh, when uh, uh, at the time of hanging they used to ask what is your last wish i want to sing a song that muslim man sang a i mean sing a song of muruga about muruga the christian people who is going to hang him were listening he was going on singing the song the time has gone if the time has gone for the death penalty he should not be he should not be you see penalty he should not be hanged again he has to brought into the court and he has to hanged again after the pronouncement of a judgment now the christian church white white man was sitting on the chair in the court he asked why you have not executed the why you have not executed the um, the punishment they told the incident which had happened to say you sing the same song to now he again started to sing the same song this muruga about the muruga about muruga after listening the judge okay from his eyes the tears came out he said i mean after that after listening that the man who has the capacity 
a, a Muslim man who has the capacity to sing about the Hindu God in a wonderful manner, okay, cannot do this, this uh, 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 cannot do this one, okay, we, I cannot accept it, I'm free in it. You see, a Christian judge, a Muslim man, a singer song about Muruga, Hindu, God, okay? See, what coincidence for? So, they live peacefully and we have struggled against the British people with non-violent weapon, uh, using the non-violent weapon and it is possible for us to, uh, uh, you see, get the freedom. So quite a lot of sacrifice has been taken place in India, okay, and after Martin Luther King, Mandela, Nelson Mandela, followed the same method of Ahimsa and Satyakraga to get freedom for them, South African government from the British Empire. He has been several years in the several, several years in the jail, but he never bothered about it. Okay? Telling, studying about Gandhi's non-violent and non Ahimsa and so on and so forth and he spent his time there after released him after getting freedom or he asked all the people all the ministers and the elected people to lie down on the ground and pray lie down on the ground looking India seeing India why they ask? Because Gandhiji, who taught nonviolence and akimsa to me, is the instrument for me to get the freedom. That is why I ask you to surrender all this victory to him, seeing the side of India, and you all people lie down, and he also lie down and gave the credit to Gandhiji, okay? So, uh, these are all the information related to Ahimsa. If you will give time, I can talk uh, more and more about Ahimsa, okay? So, I hope this is enough for you people, huh? With this, I would like to conclude. Huh? Akim, if you will understand the philosophy of Akimsa, okay, it's a philosophy of, uh, this is a wonderful philosophy in the Indian knowledge. We can do wonderfully, and all people from all religion across the nation will happy, live happily. That kind of strength will be given by this philosophy of Akimsa. Okay? Uh, shall I stop with this? If any question, you can ask me. Sir, your speech was wonderful, wonderful, sir. Excellent, yes. sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you Thank you very much. Visioning all these things in reality after long years. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Abdul. Sir, Ilangovan, sir. Ah, Ilangovan. Oh, sir. Ah. Sir, sir, online. Sir. sir, the session is open for discussion. Ah. Participants can ask your questions. Will you please?
Sir, I hope there is no doubt. So we go for a vote of thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving me the chance. Thank you, sir. Thank you for okay. your information. Once again, I have to thank. Sir, uh, once again, I have to thank today. the management, uh, Abdul, Milango, and all the people of our college. Okay. I am really thankful to you to uh, speak for something about I know. Okay. I would like to invite Dr. Vijay Kumar, Head Department of CT, to deliver the vote of thanks. Good evening to one and all present here. Abdul, sir, may I audible? Yeah. Yeah, it is audible, sir. Uh, it's a. It is my privilege to deliver the vote of thanks at the conclusion of this insightful faculty development program on the Indian knowledge system organized by IQAC Department of Nanda Arts and Science College. First and foremost, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our distinguished chief guest, Dr. Kupuswami, our former principal of Nanda Arts and Science College, for his excellent enlightening session of this of Ahimsa pattern. His profound insights have added immense value to our understanding of this vital aspect of Indian philosophy. I would also like to express my sincere thanks to Thiruvi Sanmugam sir, our chairman of Nanda Institution for his unwavering support and guidance. A special thanks goes to our beloved principal, Dr. S. Manogran sir, for his encouragement and leadership in making this event a grand success. I am deeply grateful to Dr. Abdul K, Associate Professor and Head of PG Research Development Biotechnology for serving as a convener of this program, as well as act as IQC coordinator and to Dr. Ilagovan SV, Assistant Professor and Head of the Department of Chemistry for his contribution of this event. Finally, I extend my thanks to all the faculty members and participants of their active involvement to making this event successful. Once again, once again, thank you, one and all present here, and a sincere thanks to our Professor Nisar. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks for joining, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for all the participants. Thank for you all. Joining this uh, wonderful speech and uh, faculty development program for all the six days. Thank you once again to all participants and our beloved chief guest, Dr. R. Kupusami, sir. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you.